I'm putting myself out there in front of people, people I don't even know, to potentially be judged. It's actually becoming more of a trend now and it was very uncomfortable. It's just a powerful experience to have and I think it's amazing. It wasn't necessarily of my own volition. I didn't put myself forward and say, yeah, I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and in order to step out of my comfort zone, this is what I'm going to do. No, I wasn't that conscious of what I was doing. I'm so proud of it because I took myself out of my comfort zone. What we're talking about today is how I have stepped out of my comfort zone in the past and hopefully these things can give you some inspiration, just a little nudge to step out of your comfort zone. Yo, what's up, Grim family? It's your granddad, Ayo, and welcome back to another episode of Granddad's Gems. So today, in today's episode, I am talking about the fact that you need to like, comment, and subscribe. Now I'm joking. Now, anyway, what we're talking about today is how I have stepped out of my comfort zone in the past, and hopefully these things can give you some inspiration, just a little nudge to step out of your comfort zone. See, the first thing that I done in order to step out of my comfort zone was actually speaking at events and hosting events. It wasn't necessarily of my own volition. I didn't put myself forward and say, yeah, I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone and in order to step out of my comfort zone, this is what I'm gonna do. No, I wasn't that conscious of what I was doing. I kind of got asked to speak at these events or my society at university was hosting these events and it just happened to be, I was in the position, they put me forward, said, yo, Anthony, you're confident, you go and speak, you go and host, oh yeah, you go speak to the crowd, blah, 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 blah. And I just took it on the chin and I said, you know what, F it, I'm gonna do it because why not? I want to step out of my comfort zone. I'll be so real. Doing events and doing stuff like that is not easy. I know I've spoken about this many times, but it actually does so much for you. So if you ever have the opportunity to speak at events, like, I mean, you can go to networking events, right? And actually book to go and speak and just host and just present in front of people. This is something that I felt like, even though I wasn't the most confident person at the time, right i wasn't the most confident person at the time so i wouldn't have ever put myself forward to go and do it i knew that deep down i've done this many times before i've been hosting holding i've been presenting i have been presenting to people since primary school secondary school maybe not sixth form but i've done it right i've played games in front of thousands of people so what's the difference like what what's what's really gonna happen here so i stepped out of my comfort zone and I hosted events and I spoke in front of people. Definitely an amazing thing. And I would recommend that all of you do it if you can. The second thing that I done in order to step out of my comfort zone is actually becoming more of a trend now with TikTok especially, right? And that is taking myself out. I took myself to go watch Avengers. I took myself to many society events at uni, like so many things, so many films, most often films. I haven't really taken myself out to eat yet just because I'm not that well, I am hungry, but I'll just get takeaway, eat at home. But essentially, by taking myself out, I stepped out of my comfort zone. It's not comfortable going to the cinema when everyone's with their friends, everyone's with their girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever, them they, etc. Just their partner, all booed up, friend up. And you're just there by yourself, laughing by yourself. And I'm there watching Blue Story, I remember I was just there with my nachos, munching, like just munching my nachos and just crunching, hoping I'm not making too much noise because I've seen too much noise because I've seen 